babies and children. Thank you very much. There will now be a brief 15 minute intermission. Hurry back. <laughs> anybody. I've already acknowledged the organ people that take care of this magnificent instrument and uh, and Kevin who is totally unfazed right before the concert after a 2 a.m. rehearsal last night I texted him and I said there's three things that need fixing and he was in here and they were fixed for the concert. He's just superb. I want to thank all the Disney staff. This theater is like a family to me. For Christmas, uh, if we're working, we have turkey dinner together. The company puts on a feast for us every year. Uh, uh, I, I can't tell you enough how supportive everyone is. Sharon in charge of group sales. We share a mutual passion for Disney. Caitlin, our stage manager, we've done countless shows together. I'd like to thank all the technical staff and uh, our projectionists. Uh, all of whom make a show like this possible. And I'd like to thank my friend Wally Winkert, a lifetime friend. We grew up in South Dakota together. We both moved to Los Angeles and we both found our place in the entertainment industry. Uh, Wally, I'm so glad you could be part of this. And I'd like to thank my friend James Woods, uh, Wood, who uh, we, he has been my manager for most of my time here. There's no finer gentleman in management and he puts up with my tantrums. He puts up with my obsessive perfectionism. Uh, uh, it's just like family. Sometimes there's good days and sometimes there are bad days. But this is this is a manager who is uh, the most wonderful guy in the world and so supportive. Would you give a, a, a round of applause to everyone responsible for the Disney magic that happens at the all I texted him and asked if he would be able to join us tonight. Uh, he retired in December and he texted back a lovely note sending all kinds of good wishes and at his trademark, big smiles, he said. Uh, his name was Kevin Frawley and the day he hired me uh, uh, was the first time I was in Disney corporate offices and he said, where would you like to go to lunch? Uh, would you mind going to the commissary of the studio? Uh, yeah, that'd be okay. And so my first time on the studio lot was with Kevin. Uh, he was responsible for our 20-year tenure here, and now it's James going forward. And I couldn't ask for better people. Um, I mentioned Ed Collins, who, with whom I had the initial conversations before there was even a pipe organ. Anyway, 20 years and 8,000 shows us in the conference. I gotta go take a nap just thinking about it. Uh, do I have more shows in me? Yes, I do. I don't know if I have another 8,000, but as long as you'll all have me, I'd love to play for you. is up in the audience. He's one of the few people who heard this organ in the San Francisco Fox, heard it in its interim home in a mansion in La Cunada, and heard it here. Nelson, I love you to pieces. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, my phone has been exploding all day with messages, and I'm <laughs> sorry, it was inevitable. <laughs> it truly has been exploding with messages all day from around the world, Australia, New Zealand, all across the United States. You know, Jesse Crawford only lasted seven years at the Paramount Theater. And I've been here 20, so I got a good run on this thing. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. I thank you for this beautiful experience of not only sharing our magnificent pipe organ, but for me to share my heart with you. I thank you, and I look forward to the next few years. Thank you.